Recently, I learned that I have an attachment style, and we all do. So help is on the way. Good. Chris Collins, Guts and Glory. I stopped by Madison House of the Arts. Man, I love the changes that have been made to the house, and I owe them a great deal of gratitude for giving me the opportunity to have my first solo art show and book or be a part of other art shows. They do a lot for the community, nothing but respect. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> My homie Chris saved a specific record just for me to paint on. I call this piece Still on Toxic Acres. Berg Burritos is a dope spot to grab a burrito or two. I grab two. So check them out if and when you're downtown. Make sure you support all the local business you can. I'm here outside of my studio at the Craft Crucible. Uh, just got out of Inktober. Pretty much wrecked shit, you know? Took care of things with that. Did a new piece every day. Uh, definitely proud of myself for that. Each year I do that. So, here we are in November. <laughs> Years flying by. Got a little bit of art for you guys. So, something a little different, actually. A uh, bit of a palate cleanser. Uh, and some familiar stuff, too, because I'm kind of holding on to some of that pen and ink. Um, just being in the habit of doing it, it uh, seems easier. But I do have some paintings coming up and some commissions coming up. So, we're going to be dabbling in some watercolor and charcoal soon. I picked up this three-piece set of prints at Goodwill a while back. But first, I gotta say big shout to Van Guns on the Beats. Big up fam, nothing but love and respect. So I cleaned these pieces up and decided to create a palette cleanser of sorts. Now this is where I create something different from what I've been doing a lot of. Kinda breaks the monotony. When I was growing up as a kid, even into my college years, I used to doodle on top of the pictures in all of my school books. So these pieces are a throwback to that. I guess this is not only just doodling, but also a form of redirecting.
cherubs are forever changed. Maybe they're just showing their true colors. Come to you or him. Let her come to you. Oh, Dorito! Oh! I can't sit here in front and say that my life doesn't inspire my work because it does. And you guys know that. Um, I don't know really what to say. All I know is that everything is going to work itself out and whatever is meant to be will be and whatever is not meant to be will not be and I, I have kind of had a breakthrough recently and realized some things about my life and about how I've been in a certain relationship and I've done this before on the vlog I, I've talked about it um, this is a little bit different though I've learned some new things about that and the dynamic of it all. And I do know one thing, I'm going to focus on my art and definitely gonna be focusing on my children as usual. Um, I'm gonna focus on myself and just, you know, I know how to be happy being alone. That's fine, I've done it before recently. That doesn't scare me. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. What scares me is that I'll be forever trapped in a situation that doesn't serve me. I never really thought about that before, but that's no way to live for anyone. Like my crazy life, I found a way to go back to something I've done over and over. This time I'm going back to creating another pen and ink piece. I know, but Chris, you've already drawn 31 days worth of pen and inks. Yeah, I did. So? I call this pen and ink piece, Plans Do Change. Time flies, whether you're having fun or not. Just because it's game over doesn't mean that you don't have a pocket full of quarters. Because as you know, where there's a will, there's a way. You just gotta want it bad enough though. The all-seeing eye doesn't always like what it sees. Sometimes the pain can be too much and we lash out like lightning. We all have times where we think or say, I can't do this anymore, but we can. 
and we do. I don't have all of the answers, but two things are for sure. Death awaits and plans do change. What are you gonna do? How are you going to do that? Leave them on the phone like that. So oh, okay. Take images of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool.